Hey, what's up, guys? Quad MFT here, your favorite commentator, bringing you your favorite single series, single commentated series, as you guys know it as Team Defender Tuesday, and as as I also know it as Team Defender Tuesday. As you can see, I'm rocking the old MP7, and you, you guys probably know this as the ultimate tryhard gun. But in this series, I'm not trying to teach you guys. Yes, you must use the USAS with a holographic or something like that because you don't want your subscribers to see that you use good guns and I just think that's really stupid I don't care if extras rock the mp7 every game I mean I'd like to switch it up to see him switch it up but if he rocked it every game I'd still watch every single one of his commentaries because for to, to me it's not about the the gun or the gameplay to me it's about the commentator and the quality of the commentary it could be in 240p and I wouldn't care I would still watch it because he has such good commentaries but you know that might that may not be the deal for everybody else but I am rocking the MP7 easily the best gun in the game with the suppressor and the rapid fire to attachments proficiency that is probably the, the best way to set this up in public matches in uh, private matches or like game battles or something like that you probably want to use extended mags because I don't think you're allowed to use two attachments you probably are you could easily aren't don't take my word for it but I'm also rocking the autumn camo because I love using this gun it is so good it is just amazing and I highly suggest it to you guys especially in Team Defender because this is going to be a Russian gameplay not one of those campy gameplays where you want to use like the, an assault rifle or something like that but as you guys can see I just get picked up a kill from my uh, kill streak and I just called him the Reaper which I'm always rocking and teaching you guys how to get lots of kills how to win Team Defender rocking the Predator attack helicopter and the Reaper um, as you can see they're all rushing for the flag that's another good reason to play team defender because so they're not always all over the place like in team deathmatch or kill confirmed you know where they're going you know where the people are going for you know what they're going for you know what they're doing most of them try to go for the flag you don't always need to go for the flag guys trust me I don't think I pick up the flag once in this gameplay I might pick it up once I'm not sure but I don't even think I pick it up once because I know right here what I'm doing right now is I'm racking up kills. I'm getting that two times bonus because one of my good teammates has the flag and I'm racking up kills for them. And that right there really, that really got me thinking uh, that m the throwing knife is actually really underused. It's actually pretty quality, but you know it's mainly for those trick shotting guys. And as, as you guys saw right there, I picked up the MSR, which really wasn't the smartest choice. But I wasn't looking for another run of the mill gameplay. I was looking for something different. Because right now I don't think I had the MSR unlocked. I've been really wanting to do a sniping uh, Team Defender Tuesday, but I really haven't had the MSR on that. It's easily my favorite uh, sniper rifle, and you guys are probably thinking, why don't I just unlock it with the prestige point? I don't have any prestige points. I use it on like buying a new title and emblem, or keeping over an ACR, or keeping over the FAD, or keeping over the MP7, or something like that, or the PP90, whatever guns that I can use to repeatedly get gameplays because they're such quality guns. Call of Duty isn't always about using the crappy guns. Like I said, use the guns you think you should use. It fit the map, fit your mood, whatever. Because I know my guns will change on the mood I'm in. If I'm in a mood to mess around, yeah, I'll rock the flipping RSAS with suppressor and ACOG. Or if I'm in a tryhard mood, I'll rock the MP7 with suppressor and rapid fire. Depends on whatever kind of mood I'm in. I mean, you guys may feel differently, but this is actually a really good spot that I do use in one of my later gameplays, like four commentaries now could be the next could be in 20 commentated commentaries from now but i do use i'm on this map and i use this spot right here it's a really good spot to pwn some noobs and as you can see the msr did come in handy i could have killed him with my mp7 probably a little bit faster but you know the M M msr is it's a fun gun to use and i don't know why he used this special site on the acog but he did so uh right here i'm racking up my second tier of kill streaks not in this life but in this whole gameplay and you guys can see like how do you even see that guy on the predator missile radar thing and yeah that's just theater mode messing it up you guys probably have already known that from my other team defender commentaries but yeah that's what happened it messes it up it makes me look like I'm just sitting in the same spot and then slowly start drifting and get like a double triple single no kills whatever but I'm actually looking at a guy in the actual predator in the actual game because I don't record in game I record in theater mode and see that guy in the upper left hand corner now now he lost the flag because he died and I missed two quick scopes on, or I actually missed one quick scope pick up my attack and this is a really good spot if you keep on where I was just a second ago aiming down there with a sniper rifle, assault rifle, light machine gun, even the MP7 would work. Uh, you will just rack up people trying to get to C-DOM or uh, 
or the team defender flag because you know that thing can move anywhere on the map and if I mean anywhere I do mean anywhere the way you drop the team defender flag is if somebody dies while having the flag uh, that is, is exactly where the flag will be for the other team to get it or the same team to pick it right back up and you see I have my attack and, and the enemy has an AH6 and honestly I don't think the AH6 is worth 9 to me I would much rather have a Reaper I would much rather have a Reaper because the Reaper is just I, I feel it's extremely superior to the AH6. You guys may feel differently, but for Team Defender, I would suggest rocking the uh, Reaper, but otherwise, in Free For All, that's probably the only game mode I would rock the AH6 would be in Free For All, so I can still run around with whatever gun I have and be able to get kills. And the uh, AH6 would be able to do its thing. And that right there, that's why the MSR saved my life. I pulling out the old quick scoping skills because I used to quick scope a lot being clans and stuff like that quick scoping it's really fun but you know once you get into the trick shotting part which everybody's gone through and everybody will go through the trick shotting stage uh, it's just a part of Call of Duty it's part of the Call of Duty lifestyle kinda like puberty but um so you would like it would just be like one in every 150 kills you get a, a 720 no scope YY headshot hit marker throwing knife cross map no scope or something like that some crazy invert weird stuff but it, it feels so good when you got it but otherwise when you die that 149 other times no you're like oh I was so close or something like that and that's just it's just not fun to me anymore I mean I used to think it was fun when I hit that one shot but now I was like dude I can hit almost every shot with the MP7, <laughs> and that's that's what got me into red gunning. So you can see we are almost at the win. So I'm trying to preserve my life, and like a little kid, of course, you know I, I don't I I don't live. But boom, right there, two guys, bam! How'd I know that? I don't know. I so I feel like I might have even played this game. But right here, three, two, one. Guess what? FMG nines. Those things are so good. I think they patched them with slower rate of fire. I'm. I could be wrong, but I thought I saw that in a video. So this is a spot where I'm just trying to camp and not die and be able to actually rack up and get the game to end faster. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can see that guy in the uh, on the map, or he was on the map, and my team has the flag, so we're getting double uh, the points towards the win. And always with the victory, match bonus, 1903. Thanks for watching, guys. Like if you enjoyed, and always remember, subscribe for more. Later, dudes. Good night.